Hey family, Christina Villiana here. So I just wanted again to recap what I talked about last Wednesday in our midweek devotion. We talked about taking advantage of the time given to us. We talked about uh, purposefully pursuing God and how it's so important to not just have this casual relationship with God where you see him on Sundays, you visit him throughout the week, uh, or he's a box to check off, but truly taking the time to get to know him and to hear his voice and to really truly be led by God and by your spirit. And when you do this, you're allowing God to add things to your life. It's one of the things that separates us from the world. Uh, let God just continue to add to you when everyone else is trying to add things to themselves, right? I've been in meetings galore today um, about everyone trying to hypothetically, what is the next school you're going to look like? What are we going to do? And you need to have a plan for this and a plan for that and a plan for this. And everybody's trying to do all these things within their own power and in their own uh, intellect and their own thinking and they're all guessing but God knows he knows what's coming he knows the best plan and it's so important to really take that time to develop that purposeful relationship with him so that we can really hear his voice and really truly be led as the world continues to turn and as things start to continue to change I've been reading the book um, Unexpected by Christine Kane. Almost done. But um, in chapter 8, Christine talked about the importance of, of hearing from God and why it is so vital to our future that we are constantly seeking Him and listening, that we're hearing His voice. And she gave a great example that I, I wanted to share with you guys this Wednesday. So she gave this scenario, I have it on my paper here, of her husband, Nick, who was always the navigator for their trips. He would plug in the coordinates and follow and rely on his GPS. However, there were times when he would decide that he had a better way or a shortcut. And every time he took that shortcut, it was never shorter. And she went into the fun dynamics of a husband and wife on a road trip when that happens. Um, but his internal drive was always to insist that he was right and that this was the way to go. Even when things weren't going well in the shortcut, he would still say, this is the right way to go. And one of the things that she pointed out was whenever they took these shortcuts, her stress level went through the roof. The stress in the car was going through the roof. The atmosphere and environment changed. And I know a while back I talked about the quality of air you're breathing. It just changed everything. And why? Why did their peace go, right? Because now they suddenly were relying on a guess rather than relying on what they had in their hand. Um, so she gave this example and then she put it in the perspective of if God was your GPS, right? He knows your future. He has a plan and a purpose for you. He has a path carved out for you and ready. But when we stop purposefully pursuing that relationship with God, when we suddenly get sidetracked with everything we hear in the news and our thinking and our own, what we see with our eyes and what we hear, and we stop listening to God on the inside of us, we suddenly start to take our own shortcut. And sometimes that path, we think, oh, that's gonna get us to what we need. Um, it'll be faster, it'll be easier, and then you can list a slew of justifications surrounding it. Uh, but Christine even put it this way, she said, even when there is a tempting shortcut, there is never a substitute for the long way around, which was God's way. Sometimes God's ways feel like the long way because he knows the traffic jams, he knows the roadblocks, he knows the road closures, the accidents. So he's taking you down this bizarre path because he knows what's on this path. And sometimes when we feel like it's such a long way and this isn't making any sense, you know, I need to get from point B to point A and I'm going to go this way, uh, we aren't in tune with his voice. And it's easy to just take this shortcut and get lost and stop hearing that still small voice that never leaves. <laughs> you see, God knew that this unexpected that has hit our world was going to happen. Um, he was aware, it didn't catch him off guard, and he knows the path for you uh, through this unexpected. I really like Psalms 37, 23 in the NLT version. It says, the Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of our lives. He delights in every detail of your life. And he has those details. But we need to take the time to develop that intimate relationship with him. Um, so that way we're not missing that still small voice. We entertain confusion between our voice and his when we don't know God on that intimate level. 
We need the word to be that dividing line so that we can clearly hear his plans for us. So again, I urge you this week to seek him. Use your time wisely, develop that relationship with him. Remember that relationships bring results. And I don't know about you, but I definitely want results during this unexpected. So I hope that was helpful for you and I just encourage you, take that time. Really pursue God's voice during this entire time of unexpected. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.